70% of Africa's population below the age of 35. And therefore, Africa is a youthful continent, unlike Europe and America, which are aging continents. But now the youth bulge that we have in Africa can either be a blessing or a curse, depending on how you, you, you use it. If the youth are left completely unattended to, uneducated, without skills, then they become a drug on the society. They become drug addicts, delinquents, and criminals. But if they are empowered with proper skills, then they become a proper force for wealth creation in a society. I'm happy to announce that the, national, the Kenya Youth Policy has been approved, and it's up to us youth and all other uh, stakeholders to look at this policy and to see where do they plug in as we continue engaging in activities of the youth. We also promised we are going to give internship, and in the last week, Public Service Commission has advertised for 3,200. You may say that's a drop in the ocean. But in my view, just like it has been said here before, the best thing is to take what is positive and we learn with it, because internship by its nature is not necessarily supposed to give you a job. But the other values you could get from internship for being able to understand what you are good at, what within the departments you are going to go around in the internship, which one would you want to specialize? Is it accounting? Is it marketing? I'm very conscious that today's discussion was about education, youth and education. But I think education, youth and education, will be attained if we have a generally healthy youth population. Let me challenge again the youth here. Uh, in the words of uh, the author Lorraine, that there is no elevator to success. You have to take the stairs. Hello. God bless you as we take the stairs. So the opportunity of what is termed as the demographic dividend will happen when we, as the UN family, together with the government, invest in what I would call the four E's. The first is the education and skills. There was a very valid point made. It is not about the degrees that you get. That may not get you the job. In fact, today if you go to Denmark, in every likelihood, a plumber may be making more money than a doctor. So it is the skill sets that you need for the current labor market and the labor market of the future.